Yeah, you know I'm about to get mouthy when I sit down, don't you? Um, are you guys having a good time tonight? Yeah! I know that, that this weekend got off to a rocky start, and um, I know it wasn't uh, you know, a particularly popular decision to everyone out there, but I want to say that uh, it, it means a lot that the festival is looking out for our, all of our safety. Uh, that was a tough decision to make. And uh, I'm just glad that we're here together tonight. Thank you for being here. Um, tonight we're celebrating emo, right? This is the emo fest. This is the place to be. This genre <clears throat> is made up of a lot of different genres. And uh, I'll, I'll spare you the history lesson. <sighs> no, I won't. Um, <laughs> Why would I do that? Um, this started in the mid 80s as something that had vision. And it was started by some dudes that thought that punk rock should make more space for alternative people inside of alternative music. And uh, I think that it started off pretty well. You had Minor Threat, you had Fugazi, you had a lot. You had a lot of that shit in Revelation Summer. But we got lost along the way. And in the early 2000s, when Paramore came onto the scene, roughly about 2005, <laughs> the scene was not always a safe place to be if you were different. If you were a young woman, if you were a person of color, if you were queer, and that's really fucked up if you think about it. Because this was supposed to be the safe place, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. So, <clears throat> we've been around for almost 20 years, and I've had my fill of letting older people, especially older men, tell me what punk rock is. And tell me what punk rock is not. Just today, there was a crusty old fuck on the internet. <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen him. Saying that punk was supposed to be anti-establishment, right? Well, it is. And actually, I can think of nothing more anti-establishment than young women people of color and the queer community. So what I want to say to you, if you are one of those people in those subsets, there is space for you here now. Did you hear me? There's space for you now. We love being a part of this scene. Yeah, we love you. And we're gonna keep doing whatever we can do alongside our friends and our peers in this scene to make it feel safe for every single one of you out there. Because it does not feel good to feel unwelcome. It does not feel good to be talked down to. So if you're here tonight, thank you. Thanks for watching us. We all survived a lot to get to this night. <clears throat> so, that being said, we're gonna play something from our first record. Oh, fuck you! Oh, and so all you old crusty motherfuckers, yeah! make room! 